Okay, it's started. Well, hey, we're down at Timeless Hearts Refinishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309, and I almost forgot my phone number. Find us on the <laughs> World Wide Web at www.timelessartgr.com. So, we're uh, doing a little update on this staircase here that we're doing. Um, right now we have, uh, well, we brought some parts back this week. Over here we have uh, pieces here that, that, are, uh, that are top coated. Tomorrow they're going to be sanded and top coated again. All these little sticks here have top coat on. They'll be sanded tomorrow and top coated. And all the spindles down here, they've been sprayed with a, with a uh, proper color paint, which I'm referring to as top coat. Um, and they're gonna, they've already got about, God, they got three coats of primer on them, and they've got about four or five coats of paint on them. They're just really sucking it right in. Lacquer? But, it, but it's getting closed, to be completed, so. Um, and over here, we got the Yule Post. Now these are all primed. These are looking pretty good, can you see this? Mm-hmm. Say I need to put painstaking you've got hours in here just on all these little cracks and crevices we got three good coats of primer on this and it's really covering well so as it is right now we've got um, three of the Yule Pulse um, Prime one second here Timeless Art Timeless Art um, well, my big issue right here is, um, I think when we get these back to the house, I think that um, the builders should fix these up properly. This is just an accident waiting to happen. As far as I'm concerned, it's the manufacturer should be sued for defective products. Um, you've got a little tiny wood, wood dowel, can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's the size of the wood dowel that actually holds this turning into the bottom post. It's small, it's smaller around than a pencil. And I could take a pencil and snap it in between my fingers. So the point I'm getting to here is it takes absolutely nothing to knock this post off. So maybe the kids are running around and playing uh, and they slide, it's gonna knock that post right out. you know. Or if you just kick it lightly with your foot, it's gonna pop out. So it's gonna be being repaired sooner or later so I would suggest if it was mine and I was gonna if I was doing this job before it was installed I'd come up through here with a wood screw into the bottom of each one of these or I would drill this hole out and put uh, about a three-quarter inch dowel in because this little tiny pencil sized dowel um, actually has it fits into another turning which is about three quarters of an inch that embeds into this casing right here. So if you just had the, your uh, contractors drill this out to like a three quarter inch and put a three quarter inch dowel in there, then you'll have a nice product. I would not feel safe with that myself. We've got uh, most of these sticks over here primed, turning primed on one side, ran out of primer today, but they're primed three coats on three sides of the turning. So we're scooting along on this project pretty good, and I'm just going to demonstrate. Uh, I'm going to put one more coat on this here. Is that you, Dave? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing a YouTube video right now for you. Yeah, and I'm talking to you right now, boy. I got. I, I yeah. I'm going to shoot this piece, and I'll talk to you um, uh, a little later. On. Well, actually, what I was going to tell you in the, in the YouTube video. I really think that you should have them uh, carpenters uh, fix the bottom of these uh, turnings where they go down into the rail um, that attaches to the floor because it's not going to really be safe. Um, it's, a, it's a poor manufacturing design. And, and it, it wouldn't take nothing but running a screw up into it um, before they mount it down or putting a bigger wood dowel in there. It's, uh, I'll show it to you. Um, but, but yeah, it's really something you should do because I'm going to tell you right now they're going to be breaking on you, you know, quite easily. 
they're going to break quite easily on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to break. They're going to break sooner or later. The kids were rolling around on the floor and ran into it. They fall right. They fall right through right on, on there. You know, it wouldn't take much, but kick it with your sock. So, but I'll talk to you later. Um, oh, we're progressing good. Um, the Yule poles, we got three of them in primer. We got uh, all, a lot of the stuff rolling pretty good. I'll send you a video later tonight. So, all right. Sorry. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right. All right. So here we go. Can you see this okay, Sandy? Yeah. yeah that's a perfect example of what, what I'm talking about. Um, the guys are drilling a hole this diameter through right in here to attach this dowel. But you've only got this small little bit of doweling that goes up into the spindle from the bottom right here. You see that? Mm hmm This one's already been broken off. So basically you just got this little bit that goes into that and that holds it. Um, it'll only take a second to go down and get a nice oak dowel and bore that out by hand and then you can put a whole nice dowel one inch right in there and then it's never going to break but uh, whatever you guys want to do I, I can see these snapping off I can snap that off with my finger quite easily so it's not going to take much of a bump so but anyhow I'm going to spray that piece for you. Thank you. 
turn that air compressor up, will you? All right, well, at this point, all I have to really do is uh, seal or sand it one more good time and do a little cran cranning uh, here and there on any little nicks or anything I see. And uh, these should be coming home to you pretty quick. Once again, this is what I'm referring to right down here. Not these two nail holes, but right there. That's all you have. It's smaller around than a pencil, holding that turning in place at the bottom. So it wouldn't take much to snap it off. Um, it, I can guarantee you it's gonna be repaired pretty quickly within maybe a year or so. You'd be better off just fixing it properly right now. I mean, God, you could whip a screw in that from the bottom side on each one, upside down like this in probably less than, uh, you know, 25 minutes. You know for the whole thing so i will talk to you later um have a good night